بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو پیم ڈی سی آن لائن لیکچر روم آئی مختر جان لیکچر ان میتھمیٹکس ٹوڈے اور ٹاپک از اسکیلر اور ڈاٹ پروڈکٹ سو واٹ از ڈاٹ پروڈکٹ When two vectors are multiplied and the result comes in scalar quantity, it is called scalar R dot product R. The scalar R dot product of two non-zero vectors A and B denoted by A dot B is A dot B equal to A magnitude into B magnitude cos of theta. where theta is the angle between vector a and b and remember that the t theta must be less or equal to pi like 180 and greater or equal to 0 look at the figure here these are two vectors which is the first one is vector a and the other one is vector b it makes angle theta the orange color has a magnitude of a and the other one is magnitude of b so where a absolute is the magnitude length of vector a and b absolute is the magnitude length of vector b theta is the angle between a and b so we multiply the length of a times the length of b then multiply by the cosine of the angle between a and b This is the formula for the scalar R dot product. It is important to note that if either a equal to 0 or b equal to 0, then theta is not defined in this case a dot b equal to 0. Remember that when one of the vector is 0, then theta is not defined and in this case their dot product will be 0. Or we can calculate it in this way. Look at this. We can also calculate the dot product like this a dot b equal to a x multiply b x plus a y multiply b y that is we will multiply the x x components and the y components separately and then we will add so this is another way of writing the dot product look at the diagram here this is the vector a and this one is vector b the x component is a x the y component is a y perpendicular is the y component and horizontal is the x component similarly for vector b b x this is the uh, x component and b y is the y component so if we multiply the x component of a with the x component of b and the y component of a with the y component of b and then add this will be the dot product so we multiply the x's multiply the y's and then add both methods work you can do by any of the method discussed above and the result is a number called a scalar so we know it is not a vector uh, in this way the product of the two vectors will result is a scalar number that's why this is called the scalar product important observations note that a dot b is a real number obviously when we multiply the two vectors with the dot it will always be a real number if a and b are non-zero vectors then a dot b equal to zero if and only if a and b are perpendicular to each other if a and b both are non-zero vectors then the and their dot product will be zero it is on the only condition that the angle between them is 90 it means that because if we put it in the formula then cause 90 equal to 0 uh, this means that their dot product uh, the, the dot product is 0 and this means that a vector is perpendicular to b vector if theta is equal to 0 then a dot b equal to a magnitude b magnitude in particular so when the uh, uh, angle between the two vector is 0 this means that cos 0 equal to 1 so the formula will be a dot b equal to a magnitude into b magnitude. in particular if both the vectors have uh, same magnitude like uh, uh, both uh, a dot a uh, then by putting a e, uh, b equal to a in the formula we will get a absolute square as in the case theta is 0 
if theta is equal to 180 what will happen then a dot b equal to minus a magnitude b magnitude because cos 180 that is cos pi equal to minus 1 so by putting the value we will get a dot b equal to minus a magnitude b mag in particular if uh, both the vectors are same like a equal to a then it becomes minus a square as in this case theta is again 180 example calculate the dot product of vectors a and b look at the diagram now we will calculate the dot product so uh, by two by two methods look at this is the 10 10 is the magnitude of a and 13 is the magnitude of b and 59.5 degrees is the angle between these two so one of the formula we will do in this way a dot b equal to a magnitude into b magnitude cos of theta now by putting the values look at this here a is 13 magnitude and b has uh, sorry a has 10 magnitude and b has 13 magnitude and angle is 59.5 degree now multiply we will get these the answer look at this a dot b equal to 65.9 at rounding up it becomes 66 rounded so this is one way of writing the dot product r we can calculate calculate it this way look at this as we have uh, used the formula that is x component multiply with x component and y component with the other vector up y component then add look at the uh, minus 6 this is minus 6 because it has opposite direction negative x6 along negative that's why we are using minus 6 the x component of a is minus 6 and the x component of b is plus 5 plus look at this the x component of uh, the uh, y component of a is 8 and the y component of b is 12 so multiply and simplify we will get this result which is uh, again equal to 66 both methods ke came up with the same result after rounding also note that we use minus 6 for x a x it is heading in the negative x direction as we have discussed that minus 6 is for the negative x direction expression for of dot product in terms of components and now we will discuss it along uh, in space let we have a vector a equal to x i plus y j plus z k and b equal to x i plus y j plus z k b two vectors in space then using the properties of dot product we have if we have a vector like this then we will use the dot product like this a dot b equal to no look at this x i plus y j plus z k and x i plus y j plus z k now multiply these separately we will get x multiply x then i dot i x multiply y then i dot j x multiply z then i dot k similarly look at this if we multiply plus look at now turn up y a component so y multiply x i j dot i j dot i now uh, y multiply y j dot j now y multiply z j dot k similarly now you can multiply separately we will get the same result now since we know that as we know that i dot i j dot j k dot k equal to 1 and i dot j j dot k k dot i equal to 0 so by putting these values in the above relation we will get x x y y and z z that's why a dot b equal to x x plus y y plus z z thus the dot product of two vector a is the sum of the product of their corresponding components note that if a equal to in uh, in plane like x 1 i plus y 1 j and b equal to x 2 i plus y 2 j are vectors in the plane then a dot b equal to simply is that uh, in the about their uh, there were an uh, z component and in the in this one there is no z component uh, in the plan so a dot b equal to x1 x2 plus y1 y2 properties of dot product 
if a b c are vectors and alpha any scalar then uh, the uh, the property of dot product dot product is commuted to remember that we can write a dot b equal to b dot a that's why uh, it is commuted to because uh, as we know that the result of the dot product is a real number so we can take it as a dot b or b dot a both will have same result dot product is distributed over addition uh, second property is that is dot product is distributed over addition that is a dot into b plus c a dot b plus a dot c that's why it is distributive property uh, over addition also we can write alpha a dot b equal to alpha a dot b as it is a scalar number alpha and a and b are vectors so we can write it as like alpha a dot b or alpha a dot b both are same angle between vectors one use of the dot product is to calculate the angle between two vectors like this let a and b be the two vectors then by definition of dot product what will be the angle between the two vectors is it is simple uh, a dot b equal to a magnitude b magnitude cos of theta we have discussed this before where theta is less or equal to pi greater or equal to zero now we will calculate cos of theta from this relation by dividing a magnitude into b magnitude how this becomes cos of theta a dot b divided by a magnitude into b magnitude so this way is the angle between a and b now as a dot b equal to a magnitude b magnitude cos of theta we can write cos of theta a dot b divided by a magnitude b magnitude separately we can write it as a by a magnitude b by b magnitude so this can be written as a by a magnitude equal to a unit and b by b magnitude equal to b unit so we can write the cos theta as the uh, the uh, dot product of their unit vectors also like a unit dot b unit both are same example of dot product is work done one of the best example of the dot product is work done because uh, we know that w equal to f dot s f is the force s is the displacement by removing the dot we will put the uh, angle cos theta so this becomes w equal to f s cos of theta where theta is the angle between the force and the uh, displacement so look at the diagram here is the force applied at the upper part and it is the angle so the dot product of these two is equal to the work done where theta is the angle between the vector the uh, directions of f and so assignment uh, question number one find the cosine of the angle between vectors are given similarly question number two and three you can solve by dot product as we have discussed before so thanks for watching see you next time